Hi guys, welcome to this video on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create your own appointment spreadsheet. So this is a completed example. So if I type anything in these cells, it will automatically color up. You can see that the weekends are actually colored green. And I've got a start date and end date there. If I change the start date to the um, first of the 5th, 24, there's a formula there telling me how many days there are in that month, 31, and these are looking all the way down to 31, and the weekends have changed as well. If I put that back to February, 1st of the 2nd, 24, 29 days, leap year, only going down to 29. So that's what I want to have a look at doing, and I've got it set out on this next sheet. So the first thing, I've got a start date there, and I'm going to put the end of month function to pick up the end of that month. So it's equals end of month, open the bracket, click on the cell you want, B3, comma. Now if I did a, a 1, it would be the next month, a minus 1 would be the previous month, or a 0 would be this month. So that should give me the 29th of Feb which it does. Now I've got the functions listed here that I'm going to use. So what I need to do in this cell is basically get it to look at these dates or um, check whether it's greater than a particular date. So that's what this is. I'm using the if function and the rows function. So let's start there. So it's equals if, open the bracket, rows, open the bracket. So if a dollar sign six and a six so if that i've only dollar signed the first one because i'm going to pull that down so that's locking that and that just gets bigger and bigger if that is greater than and now i'm now going to use the day function day and i'm clicking on this last day so that'll change depending on what month it is and i need to lock that f4 if it's greater than that comma quote, quote, do nothing. Otherwise, comma, we're doing this bit. Look at B3, which is a start date. F4, lock it. Plus, I'm using the rows function again. Rows, A, dollar sign, 6, colon, A6. Now, if I just finish that off, it would be slightly wrong. You need to do a minus 1 at the end there. Minus 1. And then close that last bracket for the if. Let's see if that works. Click the tick. So that's coming up with the right date. And if I pull that down, all the way down to the bottom of this little table I've created, I'll go down to 36. But it stops at 29 because there's only 29 days. So if I just change that to the 1st of March. 24 that should go down to 31 which it does which is great now what i want to do is having the i want the days here what day is that and i'm going to use this function the text function so it's equals text open the bracket click on so you want a6 comma and then the format that you want in this case is three d's close quotes close bracket Click the tick. So that's a Friday. Double click that down. What's that? Now then, I want this to colour up the weekend. So we're highlighting all of this area down to the 31st. Oops. And I'm going into conditional and I'm going to click on manage straight away and then add. So I don't want it to be cell value i want it to be formula is and then you just type the formula on there so i'm using the or function or open bracket and then i need to click on this cell now it's come out with all that so i'm going to backspace that off actually and just manually type it so i want in there b6 but the um the dollar sign needs to be on the b so it's going to be dollar sign b 
six, and then equals to, in quotes, Saturday or sat, that's the first one, or, or, or comma, then dollar sign B six is equal to open quote Sunday and close. And then I need to pick a color. I'll pick uh, good, which is green. That's it. See if that works. It does. So it's covered that up. But it's changed that to the first of the first 24, just to get a different month so it moves around. It does. Get rid of these for me. So what I want to do now is highlight it all again and get it to color up if there's any data in there. So any data in there. So I'm going conditional. Um, I'll go manage again. Add. So you've got is equal to, sell value is equal to, and you've got loads of different options in there. Um, I'm going to go not equal to, and then we'll quote blank, not equal to blank. And then I'll go add, which is red. Let's see if that one works. Okay. And then if I type something, it colors up. So, so that's the end of month function on this one, the text function in column B, and then the if and rows function in column A, and then conditional formatting using the or function for coloring up the weekends or to color up the weekends, and then another function to basically highlight any text. If you are meeting anybody or you're arranging an appointment, it will automatically color up like that. So that's all I want to cover on this little video. So hopefully that's of use. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for your time.